May 23rd is an above average day for criminal offenses and consequences. For starters, Joan of Arc, a French military leader under Charles VII during the Hundred Years' War, was captured by Burgundian forces during the siege of Copenhagen in 1430 and subsequently sold to their English allies for 10,000 pounds, which is estimated to be several hundred thousand dollars on the high side in today's buy- buying power. The English wanted to prove that Joan had used witchcraft to beat them. She was brought to trial for sorcery and heresy and ultimately burned at the stake. She was just 19 years old. Also on this day in 1701, the legendary Captain Kidd was terminated by hanging. Originally, he was an English privateer, which meant he was encouraged to loot and pillage ships as a private person. He was not an English soldier, so to speak, but if he could do damage to the enemy during times of war, good on him. However, after the war was over, many privateers like Kidd didn't stop pirating, and the powers that be had to put an end to it. A warrant was issued for Kidd's arrest. After hearing there was a warrant for him, he turned himself in to clear his name. He was tried on five charges of piracy and one charge of murdering a crewman. The Tories, which is a political party in England, much like the Democrats and Republicans in the United States, used the trial as a political opportunity to embarrass his Whig sponsors, which were also like the Democrats and Republicans, basically. And the later, the latter chose to give him up as a scapegoat rather than back his possibly correct claims to legitimacy. So it was never really clear whether or not he was actually um, practicing piracy outside of the law. So he was convicted on all counts, and he was executed by hanging on May 23rd, 1701. And years later, a colorful legend grew around the story of William Kidd, including reports of lost and buried treasure, uh, which fortune seekers are still looking for today. Leaping ahead uh, 106 years, the Jesse James gang robbed the Hughes and Wasson Exchange and Banking House in Richmond, Missouri at around 2 in the afternoon. The mayor and the jailer and his son were killed in the melee, and the robbers robbers escaped unhurt with $4,000 or about $80,000 in 2024 buying power. And 70 years later, in 1934, Bonnie Parker and Clyde Champion Barrow, or Bonnie and Clyde, were shot and terminated by police in Salas, Louisiana, after one of the nation's most spectacular manhunts in its history. According to the FBI, Bonnie and Clyde were were responsible for 13 murders of nine lawmen and four civilians, and numerous bank robberies.